Our special suicide prevention coverage, coverage continues with a closer look at a San Diego-based program that is helping combat veterans transition to civilian life. Members of POW Pugilistic Offensive Warrior Tactics say the mix of MMA and peer support has changed and even saved their lives. Tech Sergeant Nathan Perry has more. Personally, I've had more friends um, take their own life than die in combat. And, and I think that's, that's the tragedy right there. I've had friends commit suicide. And, you know, I think the reports are 22 a day now for veterans committing suicide. So I've, I've seen it time and time again. And it's, it's horrible. It's unacceptable. beautiful sunny beaches of San Diego are a stark contrast to the darkness and pain many combat veterans suffer when they return here for more. It's a completely different lifestyle like I was even having trouble just having a basic conversation like we are right now I could just it was it's a completely different mentality it's a different world it's a culture shock. Jordan Myers had trouble adjusting to life after his multiple tours in Iraq until he found pugilistic offensive warrior tactics. There you go, get off the cage, get off the fence. Or POW. Nice. A program former Army Sergeant Todd Vance started to help veterans make the tough transition to civilian life. So go ahead and spar, but don't overthink it. Does that make sense? One time I took a gun out of a student's hand. He was playing Russian roulette on his couch and his girlfriend texted me. And so I was 11 or 12 o'clock at night. I left work and went to his house, grabbed it, and I held on to the gun for six months, took him to the VA, and uh, you know, admitted him there where he was on the mandatory hold for three days. Keep working. Who's going to get the takedown? Suck him out, Johnny. Nice. Back up Vance there. says Powell's combination of mixed martial arts, yoga, exhale, stretch, and group therapy gives vets a physical outlet for their stress and an emotional Heidi. support system like with their peers. Void, he says the VA has Murphy's. yet to fill. I mean, I've taken my students to the, to the hospital um, in crisis mode, you know, and they said, okay, we'll come back in three weeks. They give them a little, a little lunch bag full of Benadryl and ibuprofen and, say, and they, they say, come back in three weeks uh, when you can schedule an appointment. That demonstrates the need for better healthcare, a better system. Vance combines his competitive MMA fighting experience, personal training certifications, and degree in social work to help students combat PTSD forward, and addiction. Squatting down, hands in the middle. As a social worker, I know that's only gonna last so long before it does become a societal issue, and it's gonna be in their face with uh, homelessness and crime and substance abuse, all these things that if we just keep shoving them to the side and ignoring it, it's gonna come back to haunt us. I was infantry for almost nine years. I went on three deployments. I've seen some pretty messed up stuff, so yeah, I was struggling for sure. And these guys brought me right out of that rut. Like, and I, I don't know what I would have done without them. Marine Turk Escalada can relate. He had a near-death experience on deployment that still haunts him. My experience, uh, I stood on an IED. Um, I wasn't, um, it was meant for a vehicle, and I got lucky that way. I have nightmares a lot and just very anxious a lot. Inhale center, release. In just a few months since joining POW, Escalada has lost 40 pounds and feels he's finally living again, even through a measurable loss. Two weeks ago, a buddy of mine committed suicide and um, it was really tough because he was kind of like my mentor. And when I was going through a lot, he, you know, and it was just the first thing the first thing I wanted to do was come to class because I knew I would have someone at least I could talk to to where they would understand same kind of thing you know a lot of the time I get them at their their quote unquote rock bottom you know where they're in a real desperate point in life and it it's it's hard for me to deal with because I identify with them so much um, but really, they end up seeing that they can take control of their own life and pretty quickly with the peer support that they start to do that. As someone who struggled with PTSD himself, Vance has this advice for those suffering in silence. Talk to someone. 
anyone. To get that weight off of your shoulders um, and not to live in the past, it's, it's a crutch. When you think about the military all the time and you look back on, on the glory days, uh, you're not gonna be able to fully enjoy the present. And I would say that if you can focus on building the future by enjoying the present, that would be the best thing you can do. Immediate assistance is available online through militarycrisisline.net or you can call 800-273-8255 or text 838-255. For more information on the POW program, go to their website, powsd.org.